What is up you guys? The video that we have all been waiting for. <laughs> My December 2021 trip announcement. It's finally here. <laughs> All right, I have been counting down until I could film this video. You guys know how much I love chatting with you about our Disney trips and sharing our plans, and I'm just so excited. So I've got my Disney experience pulled up, and yeah, we're just gonna talk about our trip. Okay, I will start with an overview. Our trip dates are December 5th through December 11th, so six nights, seven days we're doing a full week and i cannot wait so we are actually going to be staying at no surprise club windham bonnet creek we have a one bedroom but here's the story i really wanted to stay at a different off property resort just to experience something new but when we canceled our May of 2020 Disney trip, which seems like forever ago, we got our Bonnet Creek Resort stay credited back to us. And so when we went later that year in December last year, if you're following along to any of this, we were able to use that credit and it only used up half of the credit. I'm not sure how it broke down that way, but that's just what it ended up being. And so we still had half of that credit left over, which ended up covering our five nights at Bonnet Creek still. So long story short, that is why we're staying at Bonnet Creek. This was basically paid for a year and a half ago. And so we had to use the credit. I mean, if it was already paid for, what else do you do, you know? So that was already covered. So I thought, well, we gotta add on one more night, right? I mean, you guys know I'm a huge advocate for split stays and experiencing a new resort, even if it's just for a night or two. So we are gonna be staying our last night at Copper Creek at Wilderness Lodge. And we do have a studio, which I think just for one night, it's gonna be perfect, but it has been a dream of mine to stay at the Wilderness Lodge during Christmas time. This was actually the first resort I ever stayed at a year after it opened back in 1995, I wanna say. And I was two years old and stayed at the Wilderness Lodge. And we are bringing our almost two year old to stay at the Wilderness Lodge. So it's kind of a sweet, nostalgic thing for me. I don't know, it'll be really, really sweet. And I just, oh, it's a dream come true to stay at the Wilderness Lodge during Christmas time. We're only there one night, but we're planning on spending a lot of time at the resort and just enjoying our time there. We're not making a ton of plans for park time or dining reservations, we plan on sticking to Wilderness Lodge most of our time while we're there. So I'm really, really excited. It's a dream come true. You guys, oh, I can't wait. Another thing I'm excited for is we are gonna re-up our annual pass this year. We did the math and it just made sense. We're gonna save a few hundred dollars if we go the annual pass route and that doesn't even take into consideration the money you save on parking and all the little 10% discounts, 20% discounts, things like that. So I really think it's gonna be the best decision for us. We did not renew in 2020, so we went this whole past year no annual pass and so it does stink that we don't get the renewal price but it still made sense for us and we're gonna re-up it once we get there we've already purchased a five-day ticket Ooh, this is a little hack we've already purchased a five-day ticket so we've paid about half of our annual pass so once we go we're gonna upgrade our five-day ticket to an annual pass and then we'll pay the remaining balance and that way it's less of a hit and you're not spending all of that money all at once so it just kind of breaks up the cost a little bit so if you're interested in an annual pass and you're thinking there's no way we could do that with just one swipe of a card i wish we could do a payment plan or something like that then this is another way you could do that without technically setting up a payment plan you just kind of break up the cost in two chunks so that's my tip. All right, next I'm gonna share our plans and dining reservations. So I do like to mention that we switch up our dining <laughs> pretty frequently. So if something on this list 
doesn't show up in our vlogs, that's why. <laughs> I love snagging quick reservations the night before or the day of and canceling things and moving things around. So this is just what we have planned for right now. But with a toddler, I try to stay as flexible as possible. For instance, if she is just having a meltdown and we desperately need to go back to Bonnet Creek <laughs> and cancel a reservation, we're able to do that really quick and then we can schedule something for later that night if we need to. So things like that, I just try to stay flexible, but this is what I have so far and I think I've timed it well to her midday nap and when she's used to having lunch and dinner that I think these reservations should work pretty well. So hopefully they all happen because I'm really excited about everything that I was able to get. All right, first our arrival day on the 5th, we will be flying in that afternoon. So I wanted to make sure that we were there by lunchtime. That way we could get all checked into our room and let Ellie have a short nap and we could kind of freshen up and just hang out for a little bit. And then I have an early dinner at Narcoosie's. So that way we can get dressed up, cleaned up and head to the Grand Floridian. And I don't know if we have enough time we may head over to Magic Kingdom and get our annual passes and that way we could just head right in but we'll see how the night plays out. I'm playing it by ear. The next day I'm planning on Epcot and I rarely make dining reservations for our Epcot day, especially if there is a festival because we love eating all the festival food. And I don't know, we just never make reservations on those days because we want to enjoy all of the food booths. And we feel like dining reservations can take away from that because then you're too full to try new things. And anyway, so no reservations that day. The next day we are planning on Animal Kingdom and I did grab a lunch reservation at Tusker House. We'll get to see the characters and I feel like this will be the first time that Ellie is old enough to be aware of characters. So that's why I'm really excited for this. She went at 10 months and 14 months. So not really old enough to acknowledge, oh, that's Mickey Mouse or that's Minnie, like things like that. So she's finally at an age, she's almost two. So I feel like now when I point out Mickey Mouse, she is going to just lose her mind. <laughs> she's gonna be so excited. So Tusker House is gonna be a really fun one. Later that night, we're doing Tiffin's. You guys know I'm a huge Tiffin's fan. The next day we're doing Hollywood Studios and I have lunch at the Brown Derby and dinner at Hollywood and Vine. It's the Minnie's Seasonal Dine Dinner. So really excited about that, another character meal. The next day we're doing Magic Kingdom and I do have a breakfast reservation at Steakhouse 71 and then lunch at the plaza and dinner at the Grand Floridian Cafe. And we'll see how our day pans out. I mean, I have all the reservations if we need them, but we may end up canceling some, so we'll see. And then Friday is our check-in day at Copper Creek, and I do have a Magic Kingdom Park Pass if we do wanna pop in just for a little bit, but if not, I may cancel that. If we do wanna do a pool day, if it's warm enough, I mean, it'll be December, so who knows? And then we'll probably do dinner at Geyser Point, again, just to enjoy the resort and just be at the Wilderness Lodge and take our time there. And then the next morning, Saturday, we are checking out and I do have breakfast at the Whispering Canyon Cafe. We've done dinner, but I've never done breakfast. So we'll see how the breakfast is. I'm really excited, but yeah. And then we'll probably head back to our room, grab our stuff, and we leave a little after lunchtime. So again, we may pop into a park for a couple hours. We may go to Disney Springs. That's the kind of stuff we just play by ear. So I really like having a loose plan, but leaving enough flexibility in our schedule for changes and things like that. And again, especially with a toddler to leave room for diaper changes and extra snacks and you know, her just, oh look, I found a leaf on the side of the grass, like <laughs> things like that, you know, they just take a little bit longer to get places. So just staying really, really flexible with her. But oh my goodness, you guys, this is the trip where you know it feels like just forever away all year long and then you finally get a couple weeks away and it doesn't feel real. <laughs> so that's the feeling I'm at right now. It doesn't quite feel real yet, but make sure that you are subscribed because I am gonna be vlogging the whole trip, of course, all my packing videos are coming soon and 
I'm just so excited to take you guys along with me. So thank you so much for watching and make sure to follow me over on Instagram as well. I will have my handle linked down below. That is where I post daily if you wanna watch our trip live and hang out with me on stories over there. So I will be posting a lot on Instagram, but thank you guys again for watching and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Oh, <laughs>